Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard, Frank. How's yeah. it going, bud? I'm here. Uh, it feels like I'm sitting in water, but I am here, baby. Oh, you're still... Yes. Yeah. Is the wax still <clears throat> holding up? Um, I can't speak for my bonch and, you know, the, the trail of tears, as Greg so lovingly put it. Right. Uh, but the, the mons pubis area, there's... It, it's starting... What's that area? The mons, that's the scientific, the fupa, as I call it in my in my own oh, the, head. the top of your dick? As I call it in my mirror. Yeah. You know? <laughs> uh, that's the top of your the dick? The top, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the fat, mons pubis? That's what it's called. I call it the fupa for fat over penis area. Wouldn't that be fopa? Yeah, okay. Oh. oh fopa, fupa. Got it. You know? Um, so that area, you know, the grass is starting to... To poke through, you know, a little are bit. You, are you getting itchy? The lawn was 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 dug up a little bit. We tilled we tilled the dirt, uh-huh. and now it's starting to poke through a little bit. Yeah. Um, no itchingness. No itchy. Frankie got a Brazilian wax. We have it on uh, video, uh, patreon.com slash the basement yard, so you can go check that out. It's a 25-minute video, I think, of him just getting his uh, his bits torn to shreds. Yeah, my, my, my kibbles and bits is going to become mush, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to bring this up before you did it, but oh. now that it's already done. Oh, thank you. I think the one of the worst parts about this is as it grows in again. That, so this, I did a live on the Basement Yard Instagram the other night, the day that the video went out, and I said this. No one spoke about the aftermath. Yeah. Everyone harped on the what's the, the what, waxing, the math, not the aftermath or the prior max. Just the just the math. The present math. The present math. <laughs> the math that you were Everyone given. Everyone was just like, bro, it's going to suck. And I heard nothing about, like, the recovery, you right. know? And uh, I have since heard that people call it the prickly phase. Apparently, it's very sharp. Well, I, I mean, dude, I used to shave my dick when I was younger. I used to shave my dick, too. So, the, But when I used to shave my, my penis, uh, it would grow back and be prickly. And sometimes it'd be like, this is not sick. And well, then I was in like, and then when did you switch to the trim? Because you don't, do you shave your dick? No, no, no. I don't, I don't. You just buzz that I bitch. just buzz that bad yeah, boy. Yeah, you gotta have a little like, yeah. little, little character. Yeah, mowing the lawn as they say. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I made this switch like early. Really? I made it late, babe. Oh, how late, dude? Uh, what's late? I don't know. Uh, I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I would say like 20 is late. Oh, dude. Man, um, I was getting dick hair at like 12, 13. Yeah, I don't remember when I started getting, uh hairy penis but i do know that i started using a trimmer probably around like 20 dude. I, i've spoken about this so I, I was like razoring you were like I you were even... taking out like the leather <laughs> belt and like <laughs> I going why. i did this. Yeah, what the fuck was that i don't know no i was no like a razor like they would use on your face i would use on my a dick. straight razor not like a fucking, fucking who are you sweeney todd you're trying to fucking not like a, a visceral one that I would take out of my lip and fucking co- cut my cock. Fucking a pump razor out of your mouth. No, I would use like a fucking a Gillette, like a Mach 3. Okay, all right, yeah. gotcha. Gillette Fusion. A, something, f- a Fusion. Something, the, the one that vibrated? Hell yeah! Good for you, babe. Good for you. But I would never you. put it underneath or anything like that. You did. No, I didn't. You you let it sit. Nah. nah, nah. I can tell. I was never into vibration. That was you. You were into vibration. Uh, as a very young lad, that way before I knew what the hell was going on. You used to vibe. You like the vibe, the bride break. Well, it was good vibrations. Uh-huh. It's just a sweet sensation. Um, but I would was say... that fucking Marky Mark, Mark Wahlberg? Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch, yes. Mm. Oh, you're quoting a man who beat up a Vietnamese man or woman? Whatever. Excuse you, stabbed him in the eye for racist reasons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. You, make sure you get the facts right. Get it right, right you idiot. <laughs> he stabbed him in the eye? I think he, like, stabbed him with an ice pick or some shit like Just that. Just for being Vietnamese. For not being white, I'm pretty sure. Well, boy, you, how quick we forget. Do the crime, do the time, you know? Well, you know, once you get put in those Calvin Klein, uh... yeah. And to show that he wasn't racist, he supported the Boston police. <laughs> what does that mean? I, I, it's a joke. I, I uh, mean, I think it might be true. I think it's just funny because hey, Boston Mark, come is... come on the show, but <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't think he's coming now. Hey, if over. he is, he's going to beat me up. Yeah. Um, but I think I have a chance. He's like 5'8". Yeah, he's probably working out right now. Yeah, he works out, I think, like eight hours a day. Four, at four in the morning, then he has like a peanut butter sandwich, and then he goes for a run, and then he eats protein. I, no, I heard that he like does like... Through the day, like three hours of jump roping, wild. Can you imagine? I, bro, I can. I can't. Even if I tried, I couldn't do that because my body, like, I get like 
six in and then it stops. Isn't jump roping very interesting? Because there's only two groups of people that jump rope and they're wildly op- opposite. Children. You have, you have children, yeah. usually girls that like to jump rope. <laughs> yeah, when we and were then kids. You have and then you have boxers. Pro- Oh, I was gonna say CrossFit psychopaths well, too. Well, them too, but just like like alpha dudes, like in the middle, we're all like, eh. yeah, and 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 they get like <laughs> in the middle, everyone's like, gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one fucks a jump rope, and they get like very aggressive with it. They can't just regular jump rope. That's too like I not can't. cool. They're like, this is this is nuts. Yeah, I can do that. No, you can't. I can't not like like boxing Joe. That's left over from boxing Joe. I'm not really good at jump roping. But I Neither can, am I. This isn't that hard. Oh, okay. For me, it the, is. The shit getting like two at once, that's hard. You're basically asking me to like translate hieroglyphics if you are if you want me to do one of these. <laughs> translate hieroglyphics. The, I, uh, I can't do any. Like, I, I look like an idiot jump roping. Well, you look like an idiot most of the time anyways. Oh. I would say that confidently I look like an idiot jump, jump roping as well. Yeah. Um, but what was it? What were we saying? Oh, the prickly stage. Yeah, yeah. I was told it's going to be very uncomfortable. Betty, a sharp. But what's that word you said? Sharp. sharp, sharp. Oh, okay. You're gonna have a sharp yes. Hair. But the esthetician told us that it doesn't come in as sharp. She said that when it comes back after a wax, it's something they call like soft hair. Oh. So, oh, so when, you're gonna have some soft bibs. Uh, uh, maybe I'll have like little flowing locks. That'd be cute. Why don't pubes grow in that way, like regular hair? Well, I'm pretty sure that when like you, your hair and your head. So like your facial hair. Yeah. For instance, when you shave it, hair is like angled. It's like a needle almost, it looks like, naturally. When you shave it, it's blunt. You shave off the thinner part. So it's kind of like you're taking it like that. So it's thicker. So it comes back, not like thicker in like bush, but thicker like the hair Follicle. is thicker. Like a, like, or the actual hair The actual piece. hair itself. What is, what is a hair called? Hair. <laughs> a strand? A strand of strand hair. strand of hair, yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's bad. Yeah, that was pretty rough. But I was wondering, like, what is the thing? So the strand will be thicker. It would I, have a. It would be a bigger trunk. Yes, but when you when you yeah, the trunk of my the trunk pube. of the hair of the of the strand. My understanding is that since we waxed it, like we took the kids out of the house. You know what I mean? Like we we brought them. We evacuated the building. So when they come back in. Like, they grow into it. They don't just they're come back. They're older. They're older. They're older kids. Well, no, they're like, imagine if you take all the grown kids out, yeah. and then, like, babies are left in the house. The babies develop into the new hair. So it, it, they come back a little softer. Now you've lost me. <laughs> okay. Let's say there's a fire. Okay. There's big kids, and there's babies in there. Well, everyone's going if there's a fire. We're not lighting my pubes on fire. I'm saying we, when we, we, we rip them, you fumigate. There we go. Wait, okay. you don't leave kids in there. <laughs> it's just like you've got treadmills, oh, termite, treadmills. <laughs> treadmill. <laughs> I meant to say termites. I said treadmills. Well, a treadmill will get me out of my house too. Trust me. Uh, okay, go ahead. You got treadmills. Yeah. Got a few more gates. I don't know what you want me to do in between these walls. Couple, couple Gotta tre- get rid of the treadmills. <laughs> I saw a couple treadmills. The treadmill's gonna take this whole place down. The foundation's a wrap. Ah, look at that. You see that there? The evidence of those treadmills. Big belts, too. Yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. Termites, I meant to say. Yeah, I don't know how you got from treadmills to termites. Bro, or vice versa. The tur and the, and the tru. Nah. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, so I... I <laughs> I think it's like they rip the follicle out so that it needs to regrow. So it's like like first time pubes. Like my my pubes will think that they're just like the first people to show up to the party. So your pubes in it are are kind of like Leonardo Leonardo DiCaprio and his girlfriends. Like once they reach a certain age, he rips them out, and then you get the new young ones in. Crush. Wow! I absolutely nailed that. I hope that's a clip yeah. because we'll never get Leo on the show, or we will. No. He's a pussy boy. What do they call themselves? Pussy posse. Pussy posse. And we're pussy boys. We are pussy boys. Yeah. Uh, we spoke about that in the last weekly episode, if we you did. guys don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> uh, but how are you? How are you doing? I know not, not, I don't ask you enough. Or I'm, I do ask you, you just don't answer enough. So go ahead. How are you? I knew you had to throw that last thing in there. I have to be a little passive aggressive baby boy. Yeah. I'm doing good. Yeah, well, guess. Superman does good. You're doing well, I presume. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. Superman does well. 
No. Oh, Superman does good. Does good. And I'm doing well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I feel like I'm talking to my English teacher. You might be. Frankie has this tendency to talk to me like I'm a... Like a colleague like sometimes? A, like a student or something. I, I know, With you, it's not as bad. With like... Well, I don't know if that will bode well. What? No, 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 no. No. I say, got, ah, it's going to suck. I don't know, but that's it not might not bode well. I, I, I'm Fuck so it. used to talking to people in my normal life like that, like through work, that I, it's sometimes like I have, have to. We have a fake life. We do have a bit of a fake life. Oh my God. <laughs> Damn, that looks like good. What? You got the one oh, heavy on water. One time in the Santa Gata Studios video, and now you're drinking it all the time, huh? That's the water that we have here that we bought at fucking Wegmans. You got, you got some heavy on here? Yeah, dude, we have these. I'm a slammer. I'm a slammer boy. It's in the fridge. All right. Thank you. But uh, good, glad to hear you're doing well, Joe. Yeah, was that it? That's all I got. Okay. And before we started this episode, we decided like we need to talk about this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You asked me so lovingly. Why did it come up? Uh, I, so basically we were talking about the term. Oh, we, we were talking about someone getting pregnant. We were talking about someone getting pregnant, and I, I made the joke that their partner made a mess in them. Right. On them. Yes. And then you said, and then we, I corrected it to in them. Yes, they made a mess. And you asked if, uh, how you would react if someone, uh, a, a partner asked me to... Make a mess. Make a mess on them. Yeah. <laughs> or not, not your wife, just anybody in your life. No, the question I asked you was, was has anyone said that to and you? No, no one has said that to me. And I followed up with, how would you even fucking respond to that? That's like some shit that... You go, yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what are you going to say? Bro, all right, what? Joey. Hi, it's me. I'm so sexy. We're doing it. Frankie, <laughs> stop <laughs> what you're doing now. I'm Pick trying, any other voice. Uh, I'm trying to... Any other voice? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's me. <laughs> Kermit, Kermit Lee Frog. No, not good for you? Nah, bro. Uh, this is... By the way, this is a Patreon video I've been pitching for weeks now. Okay. Uh, but it hasn't oh, gotten yeah, off. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it hasn't gotten off. Uh, wait, hold on. Make a, make a mess. What would you, how would you use it in a sense if you were a, a woman? If I was a woman, I'd be like, just do it. Make a mess on me. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah? It's pretty, like, I would, That's there. a very jarring thing to say. Of course it is, but, you know, people say stuff in the moment. You've never said something weird during sex and be like, what did I say? Yes, I once called my asshole rough. Uh, I <laughs> Just, there's a lot of context to that one. <laughs> there's a lot of context. During sex, you refer to your own asshole as rough. How would that come up? If she was like, you want me to... And you're like, it's rough. Be careful. It's rough looking is what I was trying to say. Oh, but, but also, <laughs> what? Oh, because someone had asked, like, let me get a peep. And you're like, it's rough. No, no, no. Like, things are rough. It, They're not going well. Right before, right before anything had happened, any, 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 you know, goodies, fondling, you know, hello, how you doing? I got you. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> I was joking about, like, a, having a rough looking asshole. And then during, I, like, started to giggle. And I was like, rough asshole. <laughs> oh, you just blurted it and out? And we just laughed again. <laughs> and, uh,. It was funny, but that's it. I, I mean, like, I think there's something different to, like, when people are talking sexy or dirty, they try to make it more elaborate. They don't like to be as simple as possible. It's not like, you know, you know, have sex with me. They have to. That would be insane. They have to dress it up a little bit. Can you imagine? Also, you'd be having sex with them, no? Well, no, just like, oh, keep doing the sex. You know what's crazy? <laughs> you know what's crazy? Can you imagine that? Because usually, like, when you're like, you know what's about to happen, you're just like, hmm, fuck you. But no, or like, I'm, or I want you to fuck me, something like that, right? Not me. No, I'm saying for the woman. Who's gotcha, there, not me, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. No, I swear to God. Okay, bro. I swear I'm not gay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it, it would. How weird would it be if like there's that energy and you're in that moment and the girl's like, I want you to have have sex to me, have sex with me, have sex with me. There's Isn't like, that weird? There's something weird about making it oversimplified. You know or what I mean? Like, Oh, you want to have sex with me? I'd be like, that's a... If no. during sex, you say the term, like sex. the word sex, it becomes weird. It's the like breaking the, the fourth... good. Yeah, just like breaking the fourth wall. Like it's you like, need to dress it up a little bit. You know, it's like, oh, this fuck, you know? 
No. Or like, oh my god. Your penis. Your your cog. This or just say this. This. You can assume the yes. Sex. Yes. 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 The yes. Sex is implied. We know exactly what you're referencing. We know what we're here for. We know what we're doing. And what we're doing here, you know, that yes. what is happening to us. You just say this. This, I, is, this is great. I often think about, like, the terms that have been lost to time for sex. Like, what were the ancient Greeks saying? You know what I mean? Like, what did they have back there? Like, vases, art, and, like, you know, non-filtered water. So, like, what were they talking about during sex? You know what I mean? Because, like, today... Greek shit, I don't know. But, like, what? Like, what? Like, like what is so Greek? Like, yo, like, that's you fuck me in a field of reeds, you know? Like, reeds? Yeah, reeds. You know, like the tall grass. Oh, I don't... Well, I'm not familiar with the term. Um, I thought that was just wheat. I think I think it's a weed, a reed of wheat. Reeded in wheat. <laughs> You had me for a second. I was gonna go. Oh, that makes sense. But it's <laughs> no, not no, the expression. It's not. <laughs> Read them and weep. But that's what I think of. It was like in ancient times. Like, what what was their way of talking dirty? You know what I mean? Like Shakespeare. Shakespeare was making up words left and right. Yeah, what was doth, he saying in bed? Doth pussy is no. He wouldn't exquisite. say pussy. He wouldn't say pussy. He would say like some like super extravagant kitty. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you sticking with the cat? I don't know. I feel like they. Catted it up back then. He'd be like, thy, thy, thy glorious. Well, they used to say bosom, but that was like titties. Bosom was b- bonkers. Titties. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was that was tits. Yeah, those were hammers. But what was vagina? Vagina. What, what was? Really yeah, Shakespearean word for vagina. It's got to be like Shakespearean opalescent crevice or some shit. Opalescent <laughs> crevice. That's awesome. Shakespearean um, word for vagina. Slang and slang and sexual language, bro. Give me, I give me a whole article here. Oh, what is it saying, bro? Oh, is it good or bad? Fire. Really? Give me a hint. These are just. I'm gonna say a word. Okay. Okay. And then you gotta tell me what these are. These are Shakespearean terms. Only, According only do this, like two, because this could be a good Patreon video. It, yeah, it could. Um. Sorry. Um, you know what? I'm not even going to do this. We could probably do this another time. But uh, the vagina was a house. House? A house. They went house? Yeah, like kick, kick the door into your house. Like she's got a, like a really nice house. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know how they would use it in a sentence, but I they don't would know call either. it a house. I don't know either. Or a case. A case? Yeah. Like, like, a case let me work your case, dude. Either a lawsuit or a vagina. I want to work your case. I mean, yeah, I'm trying to like Ooh. bust open this case. Wow, crack the case wide open. Crack the case Whoa, wide open. Whoa, dude. Yeah, dude. Dude. You need a public defender for that case. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, now we're getting real legal Go terms. outside and have Let sex me tell you, I got, a, I got a wild labor law case back home right now. Yeah, dude. I didn't know that. Pie. Well, pie we've heard. You know. Pie, I've heard that as well. Poontang pie. Yeah. Wait. Yo, these are crazy, man. All right, don't don't tell me. We'll have to do this in another video or something because people also a score is a vagina. A score that might have something to do with like when people talk about like getting something, like yo, I, I got a huge score at the fucking farmers market yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or you know? it's like you got like you got you use your coupon. You're I'm, like, oh, I'm I sure scored a. That was what like fucking like. Oh, you score coke. Like fine. I was gonna say that's what like finance bros in the '80s probably called it. Yeah, like, like yo, I found this girl scored big time. Oh, yeah, it's like a nice score. Yeah, or you say, like, yo, I'm trying to, like, score some Coke. Trying to... Oh, I was not going to go Coke. No, yeah. That's what I didn't know like. I didn't know that was a Coke thing. 100%. People are like, I'm trying to, like, yo, you know anyone... You know anywhere I could score some Coke? Why score? I don't know, bro. I fucking grew up in a weird house. I, that's... Yeah. I mean, <laughs> definitely one with Coke, at least. Yeah. And the last one I'll say. Okay. Fist. What does that mean? I, w- I would assume it's... The act of uh, fisting? No. Um, but well, give me a sentence. I, I, I don't... There isn't one. Oh, so you can't, can't make up a Shakespearean sentence with the word fist in it? That's tough, dude. They spoke like weirdos. They did. Uh, fist means punch. <clears throat> okay. Or masturbate. Oh. I, I fisted myself? Bro, what? I'm upstairs fisting. Don't come in. Guys were just upstairs telling people they were fisting themselves? I guessed. There, there was a lot of a lot of confused people yeah. back then. Also, who would masturbate and like oh. punch their shit? No, well, I think that the general... Oh! Are you kidding me? You didn't realize that, Joey? That makes so much sense. Because <laughs> it 
looks like a fist when you're. You didn't realize that it looks like a like you're fucking fighting someone when you're jerking off. That's a good one. Well, how do you jerk off like this? No, I'm saying this makes sense. I just didn't think that's what they meant. I was thinking of someone punching their penis. Dude, I can't <laughs> believe that that's where you went. I don't know, bro. Dude, they call a vagina a house. Well, you know, I mean, it, 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 if you think about it, it is a house. It, it, it is home to sometimes one or more people. Children? Yes, children. That, or, or one or more other people, too. Or, or yeah, fully grown men. Fully grown men. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's cozy, yeah. warm. You know, definitely warm, but not not so well lit. They need some temp lighting in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hang up some, you know, some strings. Or... And and it, sometimes it does flood. A little flooding, you know, you know, not not perfect, but it is too regular cold. homeowner stuff. It's near, it's near a, a landfill. And and nowadays they're really hard to even afford. Oh, well, you ain't kidding. I mean, yeah. you see the housing market interest alone. I know. You know, those things go up in value every single day. I know. All to fight inflation. And also, you could flip one. You definitely could. That's what you do, don't you? Don't you buy? You just bought a house. You just you you've been telling me recently that you've wanted to buy so many houses no, and flip you, them. You flipped a house. I no, you bought a house. I bought a house flipped. for myself that was flipped. It was someone else had flipped it. I bought right. the house for myself. It's my house now. But they only had it a, a, for a little while. They did. It was a little while. <laughs> You know, we're talking about it. Anymore. You've been telling me that you've been wanting to get into the house buying and here flipping yeah, and business. What? And say something that I said something that was racist too. Go ahead. No, no, no. You, Joe, you, you don't say things that are racist anymore. I would say. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Where were you going with this housing? Oh, I was, I was, I uh, was gonna make a joke about you getting wealthy enough to uh, start to sell people, but it would have taken me a little oh, while oh. to get there. Yeah, I was like, where are we going? Yeah, yeah I have no a little idea. bit. Um. Now that we've just talked about selling people, human trafficking. Uh, let's get to these ads. Let's get to these ads. All right. <laughs> human trafficking. Um, first one we have here is Liquid IV. Liquid IV. It's going to keep you hydrated. Also going to keep you healthier. I would say not healthier. That's a weird way to put it, but it will help boost your immune system. Uh, they have these packets that you put into a glass of water. You stir it up. They taste amazing. Strawberry, watermelon, pina colada, lemon, lime. They're incredible. All of the flavors are really good. A bunch of people I know have them. The last bachelor party I went to, there was bags of them everywhere, so it was great. Um, oh, you can attest to that. You were there too. And the one before that, actually, they all had liquid IVs, so now they're so, sort of sponsoring all the bachelor parties that I'm going to. Um, but liquid IV is great. Uh, you put it into a glass where you, you mix it up, like I said. contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. Tastes amazing. <clears throat> they also have um, a uh, immune booster also that I have sometimes where it gives you like a bunch of vitamin C. So it helps you, you know, bolster your immune system so you could stay healthy during those times. Whenever I hear that people are getting sick around me, I just start having those. Um, but they're amazing. They're also available uh, in bulk nationwide at Costco. Or you can go to the site, get 25% off at liquidiv.com. Uh, use the code BASEMENT at checkout, okay? That is liquidiv.com, and use the code BASEMENT at checkout for 25% off of your order. So go get that. Go get, you that. know what I'm saying? Go get uh, in shape, hydrated, and bolster your immune system. Uh, speaking of getting in shape and staying healthy, FitBot. FitBot is great. Uh, their algorithm uses data and analytics to build in your last workout and maximize results. You go on to this thing, and it gives you a workout plan that is catered to you. What your needs are. Do you want to build muscle? Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to, you know, get into good, have a good cardiovascular system? Whatever you want. They will uh, make a, a workout for you. Uh, it even tracks your muscle recovery, balancing your workout plan with a variety of exercises to avoid overworking certain muscles. You know, if you just go on the internet and look for a workout plan, Chances are it's not really for you because it was made by a person, their spe specific needs, their body, and what works for them. Changes from person to person. So when you have a program like this that is going to track all these things and make sure you're on the right path for optimum like muscle growth or weight loss, you're going to want that. Um, and right now you can get 25% off your subscription and try out the app for free when you sign up at fitbod.me slash basement. Uh, that is 25% off your subscription when you sign up at fitbod.me slash basement. Um, also, if you don't even have any weights or access to a gym, you can do body weight stuff. They have something for everyone. So again, fifthbot.me slash basement uh, to check that out. Okay. 
Uh, moving on. Obviously, we had to talk about this thing that happened. Very important. Very important. I don't know, but very crazy. Crazy. Uh, <laughs> Dave Chappelle. Oh. Was attacked on stage. Yeah, at the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah. Where do you stand on Chappelle? One of the greats. Hundred percent. Greatest of all time, in my opinion. I would say he's up there. Yeah, I would say he's up there. I would say he's up there. I mean, I, I can't sit Easily here. Easily top five. I can't sit here and say I've seen, you know, a bunch of Pryor or a bunch of Eddie. But from what I've seen of, you know, stand-up comedians, Dave Chappelle, top three, in my opinion. Yeah. Mine's Carlin. They're making a new documentary on him. It's coming out on HBO Max. Fucking hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to be a goodie. I love Carlin. Um, anyway, but Dave Chappelle was on stage and someone just like ran the stage and tackled Ooh, him. Ooh, yes. And uh, apparently he had a an okay this is what i heard i don't know if this is true mm-hmm. that he just like tackled dave chappelle and like ran away and then a bunch of people like immediately ran after him one of them being jamie fox yeah and the other i heard also involved uh bust a bust oh yeah bustle rhymes bust rhymes who's not a small man uh, no 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 have you ever seen Buster rhymes shirtless yeah yeah well no oh he's pretty pretty jack i've actually seen bust rhymes in person a big guy one of the biggest I have a big neck this guy's neck bigger than the rock neck wise yeah wow bro in his head I don't think he could play in the NFL because there's not a helmet that could fit him that's probably the biggest head head I've ever seen he's still got the long dreads I haven't seen him in years no 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 he's got short hair Uh, Touch It one of the best songs of the 2000s Touch It remix that's a a remix that's a remix All right. Papoose first Papoose gotta get on this club banger smack you in your mouth make you swallow your pump razor there you go full circle yeah uh, <laughs> um, bro. But yeah, they beat the shit out of this guy, and his. I, I saw a video of him, and his, the guy, the kid who like tackled him. I think he was like twenty three years old. Yeah. We all make mistakes. That was a mistake. Hold on. First of all, apparently he had like a fake gun on him. That's what I wanted to get to. That inside had a knife. A knife. Yes. Right. And for anyone out there that's trying to stab somebody. Uh, I'm going to give you free advice. Usually I charge for this kind of advice. You're getting this for free. But I'm going to give you free criminal advice. Okay. If you want to conceal a knife, the last place you want to hide it is in a gun. (laughs) That's the last place. Like the dead last place. It's actually incredible how this man was able to find the worst hiding spot of all time for a knife no, in a gun no one's gonna see that and not immediately be like this, like that's immediately worse that's like hiding cocaine inside a heroin needle yeah like I, that that's so stupid because i mean both big, big big fat problems wouldn't you say would you say yeah i i saw that and i think the real story of this whole thing was first of all how the fuck did he get on stage it looked like he just like hopped up. It looks like he comes from the side, though. I know, but it looked like th- there was like a big crowd, and it looked like he just like hopped over a railing or something and ran at him, bro. And uh, my understanding, Dave Chappelle's not a small guy. Oh, Dave Chappelle's huge. He's like six two, six three, right? And he's like not skinny anymore. Yeah, he's not skinny anymore. He's 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 put on some pounds. Got tackled though. He, he got, bro. I don't care who you are, if you can tackle someone that big. That's kind of impressive. I don't know who this kid is. Apparently 23 years old. Didn't look that good. Also left there in shambles, bro. Yeah. That was the other part of this is that he got the fucking piss beat out of him. You see how my arm can bend this way? Like it bends like this. His arm was this way. Yeah, I don't know how. It was going the opposite. Like picture my arm bending this way, but I'm just like straight. You ever see You ever see a flamingo? This shit was fucked. You ever see a flamingo? How flamingo's legs bend the opposite way? Yeah, just, yo. Bro, that's he got kicked in. The worst legs in the animal kingdom. Oh, yeah, they're really bad. Think about this. If they made chairs for flamingos, what, what would they look like? If they made chairs? For flamingos, what would they look like? I don't think they sit. Listen to me, Joe. Based off of their legs, this is a fun question. Critical thinking. Yeah. What would they look like? Reverse chairs. Boy, you're a ball of fun. <laughs> no, I don't know. Like it, was, it would be like an opposite way chair. Okay. This is Do my you thing. Ha- you don't have an answer to that. I don't. It's critical thinking. There's no. That's like if you can. If you were standing on a desert island, you can only bring one pair of shoes. What what shoes would you bring? No, that's that's not the question. It's like if you could only wear one pair of shoes for the rest of your life, what shoes would it be? You don't need to. How many door? Are there more doors or windows? Like you don't need an actual answer. It's just critical thinking. People want to see that you can do it. You've never gone to a job interview, Joe. What shoes would you wear? 
I was asked this question uh, for an interview in college uh, for a job I got, and I said snowshoes. <laughs> that sucks. Can, did you say why? I said because if it snows, I have shoes. But what if it doesn't snow? <laughs> you said snowshoes? Wait, are you referring to the shoes that have tennis rackets on them? They hired you? This company is obviously dissolved and they don't exist anymore, right? University of New Haven, Office of Residential Life, baby. Snowshoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was bad. You would never need snowshoes. You know that. Because we live in New York City. <laughs> I, I know now. Snowshoes. But that was my answer. I was thinking like a color of a shoe. I, I, like, oh, a white pair of sneakers. I, I mean, yeah, like people would say like, you know, like Converse because they're versatile or like Skecher boots because they're super cool. And you said snowshoes. I said snowshoes. <laughs> That's like almost, like the only worse answer than that is like rollerblades. Yeah, well, hold on. Because <laughs> like, I could be on the go. <laughs> no, rollerblades would actually probably be a better answer, Joey. <laughs> yeah, they're both terrible answers. I mean, one is significantly worse in my opinion. And it was the one that snow I got. Snowshoes. You wanna... Wait, do you, did you, I didn't, honestly, I've never gone on like a job interview like that where they've ever asked me a question like that. Mm -hmm. Do you have more of those? Um, well, like the, are there more doors or windows in New York city? The, well, I know that, but I'm saying like on a job interview that you actually went on, they, they, yeah, they, they just ask it. you for critical thinking questions. Not like it, there's no right or wrong answer. They just want to see how you can kind of discuss and think in the moment, you know? Oh yeah. Okay. It's, it's a weird like job interview thing. I love, you must've crushed the rest of that interview because that part they were like, the fuck? I don't mean to boast, but I will. I actually, from what I was told, got a perfect score. They score it? <laughs> yeah. Snowshoes. Snowshoes. But of all the people to attack, my understanding is that like there there's like a there's like a posse of black comedians. It's like Eddie Griffin, uh um Eddie Murphy, you know, Dave Chappelle, Kevin Hart, like they all like have like a very notorious like group with them. It's like they they've got their posse and, and a lot of that is security. Why the fuck would you go after them? Because they would, they would, bro, they would kill you. Probably still mad about uh, his comments on trans people or something. Well, I think he, so during, like, someone recorded it when it happened, and afterward he says, my God, it was a trans man. He said that? Yeah, Chappelle <laughs> said that. And then, uh, and then uh, Chris Rock came on stage and said, it was Will Smith. Oh, yeah, he's like, was that Will Smith? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did see that. But... Bro, this guy got the, like, if you guys haven't seen the videos or pictures of this guy, he was loaded in up. an ambulance and taken. Bro, his arm was backwards. His, half of his face, so, someone tweeted and they were like, why the fuck does this guy leaving the, the show looking like Mojo Jojo? And I almost pissed oh my, my pants. Oh my God. Bro, he got fucked up. And I've always been like the type to be like, yo, like how bad could it be when you get stomped out? It was he bad. got stomped out bad. It was bad, dude. Yeah. I've never been on the receiving end of a stomping. Yeah, I don't think it... Have you been on the, the stomping end? Um, yes. You've stomped someone out? I've stomped someone. What were you wearing? Snowshoes? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, that probably actually would have been better. Yeah. Uh, I was on crutches at the time, and I stomped. Hold the fuck on. <laughs> you stomped someone out while on crutches? Yeah, bro, I'm a badass motherfucker. With your with the crutch or with your With my with my foot that was in a leg brace. So it, I didn't use my good foot. <laughs> I was on my good foot and You were stomping someone out with your This is when you tore your ACL, I assume. Yes, yes, yes. So you with a torn ACL leg. Yeah. You stomped someone out. Yes. Yeah. What did they do? Um so my brother had gotten into a fight with someone who will remain nameless. And uh, I think I've told you this story. If I haven't told you, I've told them. Frankie, I would remember a story where you were on, in a leg brace stomping someone out. Yeah. I was, uh, so it was like December of 19, uh, of 19, that's too recent. <laughs> December of 09. And my brother was like in this like embroid, like embro in this feud basically with this kid. And it all started because the kid told my brother, I'm glad your cat died. <laughs> Fire, Which bro, fire, bro. That's Mystique. That I was Stinky Lou. I know. Bro. That was my fucking your cat. They did sun my cat. Um, and <laughs> my brother didn't like it. Yeah. And it was my... Uh, they were like going back and forth and basically said like, yo, like next time I see you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fuck you up. My brother said this. This was over like MySpace, I assume. Um, yeah, absolutely. MySpace, Facebook, you know, maybe a little in person, but you know, not a lot. 
and uh, they, I, I got this kid ran into the. I don't know if I could say the the kid that came and told me that what was going on. Okay. Uh, his name is Brian. Okay. Uh, put, yeah, I know. Yeah. Put two and two together. I know. Came into my house and he goes, "Yo, they're at the corner. They're gonna fight." So I crutched my way out, and I see my brother and this person face to face. And my brother's like, I always talk about my brothers as having lisps. Ne- never really had like a big lisp. I mean, when they were like seven. Maybe. Yeah, but it's funny in this situation to use the lisp because yeah. I remember the person being in my brother's face and being like, yeah, I said, you're, I wanted your cat to die. What the fuck are you going to do about it? And my brother, like looking with my other brother, twins, over his shoulder, looking at me going like, what's well, Manny said my cat wants to die. What the hell do you think? I have to defend my cat. Like my cat's dead. Like it hurt my feelings. <laughs> So I watched my other yeah, you gotta, brother. You got to ride for Mystique. I, you got to ride or die for Mystique, Lou. I watched my other brother move. The one out of the way. The one out of the way. Yep. Go to this kid, pick him up. Oh. And threw him over his shoulder and just started wailing on him. And then you. And then I went in and got a couple kicks in. Right, of course. You know, a couple stompings. Nothing crazy. This was a child. This was a child. I was also a child. Okay. I want to make that very clear. <laughs> By the way, age difference, only two years. Okay. So I was 17, a 15-year-old. 17-year-olds fighting 15-year-olds, that's okay. You could stop out a 15-year-old at 17. Absolutely. Now, you'll get into a couple of troubles. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, and then uh, that was it. I, I, I had it's to, like... a story. Yeah. I had to, like, press the kid one more time because he was also talking more shit and... Uh, Damn, he was like, yo, your fucking stupid broken leg didn't even hurt me. I didn't even... I wanted to put this in today's episode. I got sunned so hard this morning. This morning? This morning. Tell by me like it was your daughter. 55-year-old woman. Worse. Even better. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm sorry. Real quick. You know, real quick. I'm waiting to Don't get... Don't worry. That's the point of the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting to get into the Holland Tunnel. And there's like a lane where it's a turn only lane, but like I was coming out of a, a like a gas station parking lot. So I went to go get in and I, I go like this and I see the car next to me creeping up and I look over and this white 55 year old woman with big ass brown hair just is just looking at me like this. He's so, not fucking around. Not fucking around. So I don't break eye contact. So I just, <laughs> I swear to God. 15 seconds we're staring at each other and she looks at me and she goes no <laughs> bro i started and she didn't let you in didn't let me in i started dying laughing i couldn't help it like at that point my, i put my ego aside and i was like you know what a psychological warfare that was i was like you know what good for you 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 can take it but she sunned the shit out of me dude Damn, dude it hurt but she won that one she and like didn't break she was just like she had big brown hair. Big brown hair. Bro. Her name was definitely like like imagine like Miss Santora. Damn, that's some big fucking hair. Yeah, <laughs> she her was name was definitely like Lorraine. Yes, and she just went, no, Fine. and I went, I just started dying laughing. And I was like, okay, Damn. if she had been like get the fuck my fuck beep beep, then I would have cut her the fuck off. Nice, but I didn't. Yeah, I've been driving pretty. Uh, I've been cutting pe- some people off lately, honestly. Yeah, yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. Maybe it's New York City. Well, you know what it is? I don't cut people off like on the highway, like a dangerous cutoff. I cut off people that are like waiting to get off of the exit. And I'm like, well, yeah, I'm just going to. You got to. I got to. It's weird. People don't understand. You need to be an aggressive, borderline destructive driver in New York City in order to get where you want to get. Just got to send it. You, you got to be like, I don't care if this car lives or dies. Literally, you need to not care about any bumps, nicks, or scratches to your car. Uh-oh. Speaking of, the complete opposite happened to me. I took an Uber to the city the other day. I went to brunch to meet up with my friend Julian. And the Uber driver, legit, like, this isn't me making it up. At one point, I have a video on my phone because I was filming the speedometer. He didn't go over 21 miles an hour the entire time. We have to take a, a fucking highway to get there. And when we were in the city, no one in front of us, 17 miles an hour. I'm like, is this guy fucking with me? Because everyone's just passing us, and he's driving 17 miles an hour. It was like a prepaid Uber, or was it like pay by the mile? I don't know. Or I don't pay know. by the time. I don't know how it works, but I was like, fuck, what is going on? Yeah, that's tough, dude. And also, the whole back seat was ripped up. 
like a fucking big ass cat had gotten at it. Bro, like, you the need fuck to. Is this for other people's lives? You need to just have like a forty year vet cab driver on the show, because I can only imagine the stories they have. Bro, people are fucking in cabs. People are like doing drugs in the back of them and shit like you that. Do you ever do some sexual stuff in a cab? No, like I don't, a Uber. I, no, I don't think so. I've, 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 I've. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That seems a little dirty because New York know. City Ubers are just taxis. There's no like the taxi yeah. limousine service. Well. Like, no, they they're, are. They're better than taxis. No, they're they're literally they are taxis. Like no, they are taxis. But I'm saying like, the like a yellow cab. You can get a yellow cab on Uber. I've done it. No, no, no. I know. But I'm saying like typically like an Uber is like a, like a like a Honda oh like a or some yeah shit, yeah like yeah a Honda Civic. I hear what you're saying. So it's a better car. Than I mean, like a taxi that's been like went to been, shred since the '70s. You gotta be think about what's in there though. I know, but I'm not like rubbing my what penis kind of, on well, the well, chairs. Well, what kind of sexual things are you doing in the back of cars, then, Joe? Oh, hand stuff. Oh, little mouth. Oh, what mouth? I mean, making out? Or are you putting mouth? Are you putting mouth on the underworld? Well, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> are you whispering to Hades down there, Joe? What are you doing with the mouth? The underworld in the house? In the house? <laughs> in my house? You're scoring? <laughs> You're scoring in my under my roof? <laughs> Excuse me, are you scoring in the house right now? <laughs> um, yeah. Not, no, wait. That's not what I meant. What, you said, yeah, what I said if you put I, your mouth to the underworld. We're moving on. Oh, oh you're not. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Hey, don't rush a comedian stage because you'll probably get the fucking life I forgot torn we out to you. Yeah. Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Yeah, don't don't rush people on stage. Just little psychotic people. Yeah. And if you do, you deserve the whooping that's coming for you. Who was, uh, what comedian was it that said like, you know, uh, if you run, just know that there's a whooping following you or something like that. I don't know. But I do remember when we went to Segura's show, he was like, I'm, he's like, if you don't like anything that I'm going to say up here, I don't care. And, yeah. you, and, if, and he said something like, if you come up here, I'll like fucking get yeah, it. He said, he's like, and you're going to stay in your fucking seat. Yeah. yeah. That's what he said. Right. Um, all right, let's get to the let's get to these ads. Before second you batch, so we second batch. Stuff. Yeah, uh, we do have True Bill. True Bill is the new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions that you may or may not be paying for, or whatever is going on. It's going to help you identify the ones, and you can cancel the ones that you're not using. A lot of us, they, we sign up for like free trials, or you subscribe to a thing that you haven't used in a really long time, and you realize, you know what? I shouldn't be paying eight dollars a month for this. I'm not even using it, or like I don't even remember signing up for this thing, or I forgot to cancel this free trial. So True Bill will help you save some money. Um, on average, people are saving up to $720 a year, and that's just on average, so people are saving more than that. Uh, so you could potentially be saving like $1,000, $1,500, depending on how crazy you are with signing up with you know, free trials or subscribing to things. Um, but yeah, go check them out. Uh, don't fall for the subscription scam. Start canceling today at truebill.com slash basement. Go right now, truebill.com slash basement. It could save you thousands a year. Um, but yeah, go check them out. Do your thing, people. Uh, and lastly here, we have SeatGeek. Uh, SeatGeek, you guys know SeatGeek. It's the best thing to buy your tickets. Anytime I'm going to a sporting event, going to a Broadway play, going to a concert or whatever, anything that really sells tickets, monster truck rally, doesn't matter. SeatGeek's got it. And they have uh, a nice little color-coded system where they tell you, like, oh, dark green means this is a really good price for this ticket. Red, probably stay away from that. You're going to overpay. So you know what's a good price and what's a bad price for the seat that you're getting. So SeatGeek, you know, that's what I've been using for years. Uh, they've always been in like videos and, and podcasts of mine. So always down with SeatGeek. Uh, and you can get $20 off your first purchase with the promo code basement at SeatGeek.com or use it on the app, which is what I use, the SeatGeek app. Uh, and that's the promo code basement for $20 off of your first SeatGeek order. Um, so yeah, go check out a show. Go do something fun. You know what I mean? Then you go do it. Um, you know what else is super fun? What, babe? Uh, nudes. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> you need to give me some more context there, Joe. Go on. Um, so NASA is going to start launching naked pictures of humans into space in hopes that it attracts aliens. This is a risky move. Yeah. Yo, Stephen Hawking, who's the guy in the he would he was, died was. he had the yeah i know who you're referencing yeah he went down but he actually said he was <laughs> Is a smart, that how you talk about people that died they yeah, went he, down he went down okay. but he well he, or maybe uh, i think he was a good guy he went up but i meant he went down he went down like he fell down and didn't get up that's what i mean like 
Death wise. Yeah. Okay. He's All dead. Right. All right. Yeah. He's fucking dead. He's gone. So Stephen Hawking, smart guy, astrophysicist. Quite. I think. I don't know. One of those. Thermonuclear scientist. Would talk through a computer too. Pretty smart. Uh, so, so he actually came out and said it when he was alive, because he's dead now, like I said before. Yeah, I know. I remember that. <laughs> he said, he's like, yo, we should not try to get aliens to come here. Don't do it. Because he was saying like, anytime uh, in nature on Earth, I guess, that a stronger thing has come along, it's kind of like enslaved or taken advantage of the other thing. So if they're better than us, which let's be serious, uh, then they'll come here and they'll fucking enslave us. If, yeah, like why, if we can't get to them, we shouldn't be asking them to come to us because then there are, like they are just better. Yeah, I will say this. When I first read this thing, I'm like, we're sending nudes to space. And by the way, they're not actual pictures of like, you know, someone's wife just standing there and her fucking tits are out. They're digitally made. Oh, and they're and the, yeah, so it's like a digital picture of like what humans look like. Oh, I thought they were just gonna send p- fucking playboys and penthouses up to you know. Although to, that would be fire. Just like bro, aliens if they just get like the two thousand three Tory Wilson edition, bro. Can you imagine? Or dude, if I'm an alien, all of a sudden I get that fucking Naomi Campbell one, I'm like, bro, we might gotta take a little trip to Earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like hit up your boys like Gleep Glorp and Kim Chong. And then just be like, yo, we got to go over to this Earth place. Yeah, she'd be like, yo, there's some stuff down there we got to explore and see. Yeah, this is a really aggressive and risky move. Because I will say, though, I think that's how you get someone's attention. This, here, yes. <laughs> Here's my thing. In the animal kingdom, because we're assuming that, you know, the, the aliens. We all are animals. Demi right? Lovato told, told us not to call them aliens, but we don't care. Yeah. Um, extraterrestrials, let's say. Yes. They're part of the alien kingdom. I mean, the animal kingdom. Oh, oh fuck, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they are. Are, the animal kingdom, they're all about, like, whoever's got the bigger penis is the coolest and, like, the most aggressive. Like, yo, like, lions come out and they're like, yo, look at my junk and I'm going to rip your fucking head off. I don't know if that's true. It is. Well, baboons, they don't do... Uh, they don't do dicks. They do asses. But well, yeah, because they got wild. They have bro. like inverted red ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And whoever's it's got the redder up. ass, it's is all like, fucked up. Whoever's like the most ready to have sex is like attract. Is like I, you know I, what can I mean? see that why people would like that. Also, they're big on smells in the animal kingdom. Like they, they, if you stink, they're but like, like yo. bro. Like in the animal kingdom, it's all about like who's got the bigger chest or yeah. who's got the more like who's, scars on their fucking. Who's you gonna know. beat up this guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, what if aliens, if they see, like, what are we putting on this guy? Yeah. Are we putting a just, you know... Oh, no, the, the digital picture is not... He doesn't have a big piece. What? It's a whack dick, yeah. Why not, dude? I don't know. We're fucking... We're... No! I know. I think we should put out the best of the best. We gotta show them a massive wang... Yeah. ...that th- could scare someone into fucking with us. Like, th- oh, th- he's got... Careful. We should put, like a, a, like, a digitally hot dude with, like, a fat wiener, and then, like, a... Like a, like a just a thick woman yeah, with yeah, like yeah. big boobs, yeah, yeah. Like a fat butt, butt, snatched waist. Just, I just said that. <laughs> that was the <laughs> oldest I've ever sounded. I just think about it like this: we're men. We immediately believe that men with bigger penises are better than us. I don't believe that. So no. if we're gonna send stuff just out, so, I don't believe that. But go ahead. <laughs> no, it's what men do, dude. Right. Yeah, no. You think that men judge each other upon like, you know, like how like kind they are. No. Men are like, who's got the bigger dick? That's the alpha male here. The apex predator, so to say. Right. I'm more in touch with the animal kingdom. Clearly. And I'm saying if we're gonna send pictures of nudes digitally created, yeah. just make them look make, make them look, look cooler. Good. Make them look great. Also, are you putting pubes on this thing? Are you giving them a landing strip? It's a good question. These are all it's questions. questions. What well, it does make sense to send naked pictures though, because if you sent like clothes, they'd be like, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah, what's Kith? <laughs> <laughs> Aliens would be like, "Yo, what is what is Kith?" Yeah, what the fuck is that? What would be if you were to create a top, a bottom, a middle, and a top for a digitally created human? What would it be? Who would it Who would it take from? What the fuck are you talking? Like, about? for instance, my bottom would have to be John Ham for no reason other than you know. What does the bottom mean? Like the waist oh. down, waist down, midsection, chest up. Oh, you would do John Ham. John Ham from the waist down, for no uh, nothing other than an obvious reason. Right. Well, who, what would be yours? Are you asking me my favorite dick? Because <laughs> it sounds like that's what you're asking me. 
And also, you snap answer John Ham's your favorite dick. Uh, I, no, no, I'm not saying it's all dick. I'm just saying like he's got some nice legs on him. He's got dude. some good legs, dude. Like The Rock. I don't know, but I've never seen The Rock's pace. Yeah, but you've seen him in a wrestling, you know, attire. Apparently, Goldberg is is just you know got a shin guard for a cup. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll go Goldberg then. Goldberg for the lower waist, midsection. Who's just absolutely shredded? Um, prime Jackie Chan. Okay. All right, Joe. I like that. And then, and then, chest up. I like the inclusivity here too. By the way, I gotta say, Henry Cavill. From the chest up, that's a good one too. He's a wide man. Yeah. The so from man. the waist down, you went with a. I believe Goldberg is a Jewish American boy. Goldberg's a Jewish. <laughs> Really? Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, thought, I don't know. I, I could be wrong, and I'm gonna get Bro, canceled. I mean, yeah. I mean, hold on. If not, we gotta we gotta make some edits. Bill Goldberg. He, he was Reform Jewish. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not wrong there. Yeah. You went the midsection of a Chinese man. And then you went the upper half of a Brit. Of a Brit. Yeah, from from Blackpool. Is that actually? I don't know. They do a lot of pools out there. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Okay. I'm saying lower half. Whew, this is tough. I want good, powerful legs. But John Hamm. Yeah, he's got a good, powerful <laughs> third leg. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll go with the Rock. Midsection. I'm going like. Like neighbors, Zach Efron. Okay. Top, like chest up. I'll go. <laughs> neighbors, Zach. What about Baywatch? I didn't see that one. He was ripped up. In okay, that. let's go Baywatch, Zach Efron. And then from the w- chest up, who's like a really handsome dude? Uh, Chris. I was gonna say. I was gonna say Chadwick Boseman. That's a really handsome boy. He's gone. But, or yeah, we can go with Chris Evans. I'm not into Chris Evans. Uh, Idris Elba. That guy's hot as shit. We could go uh, an Oscar Isaac. Honestly, you could just send Idris Elba. You just send him. <laughs> just Idris Elba, bro. He is. Honestly, you could Nessa, just send him. Nessa, I know you're watching. Your digital creation for the man, make it Idris Elba. Bro, I thought you said Nessa. I was like, who are you talking to? NASA? Yeah, NASA. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just hoping they don't send a picture of me. Yeah, I don't want to be the first thing that an like, alien no. sees. <laughs> They'd see the picture. They'd be like, I could tell he's let himself go. Yeah, they're going to look at it and be like, let's just blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you send whack-looking nudes. So when they get so that, here. So that they go, oh, dude, we'd be wasting our time. We can't, like They're not even going to be good slaves for us, and they leave. That's a good, yeah, yeah. Send like someone that's like so that's maybe why they sent the small winner. Someone that's built like Tobey Maguire. Yeah, just like just like plain, just short and wimpy. And just plain. Yeah, Michael Sarah. Yeah, send a picture of naked Michael Sarah to the aliens. Yeah, and just be like, well, this is what we got. And yeah, like, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Him I, and like Justin Long or something. Yes, that's a good little let's shrimp to too. Offend more people. Yes, let's do <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, I don't know what the aftermath of this will be. Like, what if they see it? What do they do? Like, I don't know. They've been trying to communicate with aliens for a while now. I, 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 uh, I remember that they, like, sent, like, a bunch of, like, radio waves or whatever, however you communicate. Yeah. Some, like, digital Morse code into the galaxy, hoping that to get something back. But we haven't gotten anything back yet. Not, Not yet. But, uh, let's hope we never do. But now we're sending cocks out there. So yeah. you never know. Typical men. Uh, NASA must be run by men. It's, it's like, like we tried we talking to we them. We tried talking to you, so we, we just sent our dicks. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get... The aliens are going to send a, a thing back saying, sorry, I'm busy. And we're going to send a picture of a dick back saying, busy on this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just like, it's like sorry, I'm not interested. It's like, whatever, you're a fucking slut yeah. alien anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't want you here anyway, bitch. That's so funny. Typical we man. We tried talking to them, but they didn't listen. They didn't yeah. say anything back, so I sent her my cock. It's like a typical like Bumble profile where you see like uh. Earth is saying like, hey, hey, what's up? Want to talk? You're beautiful. And nothing comes back. We send a picture of our dick, 
and then they respond back like, no, thank you. And it's like, fuck you, you're a whore anyway. You're ugly. I I always thought you were ugly. I was drunk all those times I messaged you. Oh my God, you're a joke. (laughs) Dude, I saw that one time recently where it was like, (laughs) some girl was posting something like that where it was kind of like this guy messaged her like, hey, what's up? Uh, blah, blah, blah. And like, she's not answering. And she's like, you're a joke. That's what he wrote to her. (laughs) Like you're a joke. That's you think good. you're better than people? You're a joke. That's a good one. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, and then lastly, yeah, that I have here is that triple tri- tri- tropic <laughs> <laughs> Tropicana uh, made a cereal where you pour orange juice as like the milk. Gay. That's way too much orange juice. Why? What could it be that it makes it good? It's just called Tropicana Crunch Cere- cereal made from OJ. So it's a it's an orange juice cereal. That you're adding orange juice to? So it's just orange juice on orange juice? Who came up with this idea? A fucking third grader? Yeah, well, yeah, probably. Well, we tried in a San Agato studio video. We tried uh, Frosted Flakes in orange juice. Not good. Uh, spoiler. Not good Not at good. all. Not good at all. Frosted Flakes, though. That is good. I had some a couple weeks ago. That's what I got in my pantry right now, babe. I got Oops All Berries. <sighs> I got Honeycombs. And honeycombs, that's a good one. I always yeah. liked eating honeycombs and then s- like sucking them to be flat. Yeah, you've <laughs> talked about that, you freakazoid. Because there's holes in it, they're porous. I know what they are. So you can put the you can put milk in it and just go, and you flatten it Ew. and you eat it. What's wrong with <laughs> I you? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, this doesn't sound appealing in the slightest because I don't like orange juice is. I can't dr- sip orange juice. I need to chug it, or I need champagne in it. Definitely need champagne in it. And you just got me really excited. Yeah. Um, it's the year of the mimosa, by the way. I don't know if I told you that. Yet. Is it? Is it? Yeah, yeah. What, well, who, I dubbed it. You dubbed it. Right. Me. I've had enough this year to, to like put my stake in the ground and saying, like, that's a good title for a year. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I've had more this year than any year in my life. Oof. And it's not even summer yet. I have... There was one year. It must have been, like, 2015 or 2016 in the fall where I had a lot of mimosas, mm-hmm. like an unhealthy amount of mimosas. There was a couple of weeks back where I had uh, mimosas three days in a row. Oof. It wasn't my fault, though. It's, there's something about mimosas that is like guilt-free, you know? Dude, it's orange juice, man. It's healthy. Alcoholism. <laughs> Champagne? Whatever. Are you going to... almost choked. Yeah. Are you going to try the cereal? Fuck no. What if I get it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we need we owe it to ourselves. In order I feel to- like this is not a cereal that you're going to be able to see. Also, one thing uh, that I was looking through the article that they had, I uh, and then I ran into this thing. They also made a toothpaste. Pot, pot. Yeah, Tropicana made a toothpaste, so Why? it doesn't ruin your OJ. Bro, you think you're not gonna? First of all, very smart. A good marketing plan, I guess. You think that they're going to go through the research and development and planning and execution of making something not to try to sell it for a profit? Dude, toothpaste that doesn't ruin OJ. That's very smart. It says dropping November 1st. Oh, it's limited edition. That Well, I think the cereal is out now. What would that possibly taste like? Bro, one time when I was super young, we had a toothpaste that was like bubblegum flavored. <sighs> Oh no, it was at my aunt's house, at Pete's house. Oh, okay. They had a good tasting toothpaste. And I ate some. Oh, it's okay. No. Nothing wrong with that. No. And I ate some. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Like when you were brushing your teeth? No. Wait, what? I brushed my teeth with it and I was like, this is really good. And you And then after I was after the brushing, teeth brushing yeah. had commenced, I ate some. Stop. Yeah. Why would you do that? Because it tasted really good. Also, you got to keep that fucking medicine away from me, the bubblegum medicine. Oh, the, the. If that was within my reach, if they didn't have that, like, turny thing that I hadn't figured out yet because I was a child, <laughs> yeah, I still can't I would have. If you could possibly hurt yourself with that, I would have been hurt bad. Yeah, I, I would have drank can. the entire thing. I think you can, or you would have been high as a motherfucker. You get high off of, like, medicine? Cough syrup. Is that cough syrup? I think it's there's some of it that's cough syrup. Oh well, I would. If not, there's sh- drugs in it, dude. Dude, I'd have been fucking. Too much drugs, you'll be drugged up. Yeah, they, drug my shit up. There are some children's toothpaste. I think it's Crest. It has like the little like little like shimmery like things in it. It looks like uh, confetti. That's pretty delicious. Oh yeah, there's like confetti in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty good. Like flakes and like a blue strip in the middle. I have to admit, one time, 
I used Miles' toothpaste once. Just once, just to feel like a kid again. Why, why is it different? Because it's a kid's toothpaste. So what does it taste like? Awesome. Why don't they have that for adults? Because people are like, you're an adult now. You need to be serious. Here's something that's going to burn the fucking enamel off your teeth because it's Fuck so hot. You. I don't want that. If it does the same, I'm take, I'm, I'm using that fucking child. Yeah, bro. Toothpaste. If anything, it's probably better because with kids, they need to be stronger, dude. I don't know what you just do with your bottom lip, but I hated that so much. <laughs> dude, I want better tasting shit. Also, better ingredients. Shampoos. They smell awesome for kids. Yeah, like no cry shampoo. That's a great idea. I get shampoo my all the time. I don't cry. Bro, L'Oreal, tear free. Are you kidding me? Tear free me. Bro. Uh, also, what? make the bottles look like fish. Just Bro, like that's kids. what I'm saying. Those L'Oreal bottles, that green bottle that looked like a fucking fish. Awesome. Fire. Awesome, dude. My shit just looks like this. Fuck you. Yeah, bro. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not going to offend any of our sponsors because they have great products. But fuck you. But like it's in a black, you know, or, or a regular colored and it just looks, no, dude, I want a face. I want a fish. I want, I want my shampoo bottle to be SpongeBob. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. When did we grow up and become not fun anymore? Why did we start taking ourselves seriously? Why? Because I got to pay taxes. I need to not fucking use shampoo that's a nine in one and it, it smells like strawberry jam. Well, you get to, you preserve it a little more than other people. You have a bunch of toys and stuff, but, you care, but for me, I don't have any of that stuff. So I want some, sh I want some fish shampoo. Yeah, you have nothing. Just a fucking Lego of an F1 car. You're a kid at heart too, Joey. We all want to be kids at heart. You're going to tell me it didn't hurt when Toys R Us closed down? Yo, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you, right? When Toys R Us closed down, I was totally fine. And then I saw on the uh, there was a sign on one of the doors to this place, and I legitimately got teared up. Yeah. I forgot what it said. It said something along the lines of like, keep dreaming, hold on to that child's spirit. Bro, I fucking, it hurt, dude. We all want to be kids still. We all want to have that playful spirit. Go ahead. Read it. Yo, I, I promise you, I'm, I'm being dead serious. It hurts so much. And yeah. if I was Elon Musk, I would make sure Toys R Us opened up again. Bro, Elon Musk. Fuck Twitter, dude. Open Toys R Us, you Toy fucking Toys bitch. Us. KB Toys. Don't even do Toys R Us. KB Toys. KB Toys. Shut the fuck up. Toys R Us is better, but KB Toys too. You know what it says? Oh, God. It was a picture of... Oh, my God. Yeah. Jeffrey the Giraffe. It was a picture of Jeffrey the Giraffe, and he has a suitcase. Oh, no. And then there's a sign. It says, oh, my God, bro. Why does this make me so sad? Oh, because we're fucking old. It says, I guess everyone has grown up. There's no more Toys R Us kids. I could legitimately cry I swear right to now. God, that hurts. That's so fucking fucked. Damn. Yo, Elon Musk, you rich fucking piece of <laughs> shit. shit. All your Open fucking... up Toys R Us, bro. Yeah, Charlie, get him. Open up Toys R Us, bro. Fuck Twitter. And you won't even need that much money. One billion, maybe. Bro, Open up the Toys R Us, you Je slut. Jeff Bezos, you want people to stop talking about your fucking wild unionless, you know, Wild West uh, fulfillment centers you're running? Open up Toys R Us. Bring it back. That hurts. Bring it back, Joe. I guess everyone has grown up. There's no more Toys R Us kids. I would have, if I saw that sign, I would have poured money into this company. I'm letting you know right now, if I had saw that sign and I actively had children when I saw that, I'm beating my kids for not being a Toys R Us kid. Yeah, no. I'm hitting them. them. Yeah. I'm hitting them. Like, yo, you're not, this is your fault. Yeah. You know, forget Anyone about. who reads that and go, that's so dumb. Fuck you up. Yeah. You don't get it, dude. Oh, I hate See, ending look, on a Thanks set. for the memories. We are now closed. Don't ever, don't ever grow up. Always be a Toys R Us kid. I'm going to cry. Why do we have to end this on a sad note, Joey? I don't want to grow up. I am a Toys R Us kid. I guess there's... I guess there's... Oh, my God. I guess everyone has grown up. There's no more Toys R Us kids. That's so fucking sad. Why does that affect me so much? Because, Joey, the realization that time has passed and you are closer to 50 than you are to 6, it hurts way more. Yeah. Doesn't that suck? Doesn't that hurt? Bro, I, I've, I've said this a million times and I'll continue to say it. Time machine comes out. Oh, $1,000. Spend a day in the life. Uh, give me five days. I'm so happy with where I am in my life. I fucking, I love it so much. But bro, the, the rush, I don't do drugs. I would snort the hell out of being a six-year-old for a day. <laughs> Fuck. You snort a six-year-old? What are you saying? Uh, no, no, no. The experience. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, on that sad note, I think we can wrap it up. Do what we gotta do. 
Where can they find you? F Alvarez8085 on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez on Instagram. Go check out the Patreon. As we said earlier at the beginning of the show, uh, there is a video of me getting a, a Brazilian, a Brazilian, a manzillion, as people call it, where I get my nether regions waxed. We reached 10,000 patrons, and thank you guys so much. We do really appreciate it, and as a result, I'm a man of my word, stuck to it. Got that wax. So uh, we're planning what we're going to do for our next goals. Um, there will be more news on that as it comes out, but you can check it out at patreon.com slash thebasementyard. Not only do you get exclusive videos with that second tier, but that first tier, you get these weekly episodes a week in advance. Get in on the jokes, the comments, the, 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 the passive aggressiveness, Joey belittling me six days before everybody else. So go check it out, patreon.com slash thebasementyard. Yep, and you can find me at uh, Joe Santiago on all social platforms and go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. That is all. See you guys next time. Don't grow up. <laughs>